Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about 3.js. So 3.js is an open source JavaScript library for drawing 3D graphics on the web. And it was created by Ricardo Cabello, also known as Mr. Doob. And it grew out of the work he had done for Flash on the PaperVision 3D library that was done in ActionScript and then ported it over to JavaScript. So Originally, it was created as a renderer agnostic API, so it had a 2D canvas and SVG renderer in the beginning, and then as WebGL became available in browsers, a WebGL renderer was added to it. And this helped the popularity of both 3.js and WebGL because it made WebGL more accessible to developers. So to get 3.js, you can go to 3.js.org. And this is their website that has a bunch of examples of places it's used in production websites on the web. So a lot of great examples of some high quality experiences people have made with 3.js and WebGL. On the left side, you can actually download it. You can see they have a download link to download the library and use it right away. They also have a link to their GitHub page where you can go through the source code and submit issues or track the progress of the site of the library and its development. You can, they also have a link to Stack Overflow where you can get support and ask people questions in the community. There's also documentation which goes through the API and the properties that you can manipulate in the different classes within the library itself and what you can use it for. Probably the most important thing that they have on here is the examples because there is a slew of very thorough and advanced examples of what you can do with 3.js. You can see they have some really cool simulation examples with physics and flocking algorithms as well as dynamic water simulations using different shaders. And there's some examples of how you can use shaders in really advanced ways like using particles on the GPU as well as texture mapping and dynamic vertex shaders. And one of the greatest ways to learn 3.js is actually going through these examples and the source code and looking at how people achieve different effects and just playing around with them. This is probably the best way to just dive in and get familiar with the library and how you can use it. So this has just been a brief introduction into 3.js and the library. And in the next episodes, we're going to go through each of the parts of a 3.js application and how you can start building them yourself. Thank you.